Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Well, last time, we helped Shale become radioactive, and failed to help Ogren get a new girlfriend, and today, oh, I think it's time. It's finally bloody time. The armies have been gathered, the missions are done, now all we need is a political solution to end the civil war, and that means, brilliantly, we need to make Alistair King. And as soon as we've done that, I am going out to the market in Denerim, buying the biggest bucket of popcorn I can find, and we just get to enjoy the fireworks as Ferelden collapses. It's going to be hilarious. I have off screen, by the way, you may have noticed already. Yes, just topped up my health potions because I suspect uh, there might well be a bit of fighting coming up. This isn't going to be entirely without bloodshed, potentially. And yes, other than that, I'm just going to hand over anything I've got left to these lads. I don't know what it does, but I feel like just giving them everything I've got can't possibly hurt. So a handful of runes for the dwarves and, oh yeah, just give them a giant pile of materials. Just give them, uh, yes, everything. All the death root, all the elf root. I have got so, so many potions and elf root is so, so cheap at this point. So it's going to be fine. Although, to be honest, when I say we've built the army, so the army is made up of a group of nomadic elves and no werewolves because we got rid of them, a handful of dwarves, but no golems because we got rid of them, and a handful of mages, but not the Templar, and I kind of feel like my army might be a bit flimsy. Admittedly, it just kind of, you know, split up really nicely in terms of class distribution. We got dwarves as warriors on the front, then elves with bows behind and mages in the rear. So that kind of works at the bare minimum. Still, that's it as far as I can tell. Apart from Zev, who for whatever reason just will not bloody tell me anything about his mission. But everybody else, happy, loyal, likes me. Even Sten, I just shoved him full of so much cake, he actually likes me a bit these days. So that's nice. It's time to flip and make this happen. We're going back to Redcliffe. All right, I don't know what I'm walking into here, but I'm guessing it's going to be nasty. So, Alistair, yes. this is literally the mission to make you king. So you're coming. And then in terms of majors, Morrigan is just an absolute monster. Mm -hmm. So she's coming too. Who's going to be person number four? Because... I do like Leliana, but she is a little bit on the flimsy side, uh, to be honest, and uh, I was gonna say Shale, but Shale's been with me a lot recently. Yeah, go on, Leliana, you can join us. I think archers are actually okay. On the way, we have got ourselves... Ooh, okay. We got ourselves a little bit of fighting, as needs doing, I'm guessing yes indeed. A handful of dwarves uh, right now, on account of the whole yes dwarf thing. We've just got some dwarves above ground for the first time in some time, so guys, just nice little uh, warm up right here. Just start murdering, start stabbing, etc, etc, and uh-oh. Oh, there are some, uh, yes, big, big ogres over there. Right, somebody do something about the big ogres, please. Morrigan, you can sort that out if you'd be so kind. Just, uh, you know what? Free Simmons. Resisted, la -de da Okay, that one over there, uh, just put him in a nice force field uh, for a moment. Just keep him busy, and if you'd be so... I just said uh, force field, so just take care of him, and... Okay, for some reason, these ogres are resisting everything, and I don't appreciate it. Okay, help out these lads, uh, as best we can, while also just doing a bit of, you know, group healing. We'll just clear out this lot, and once they're all done, we can, uh, yes, just help our lovely, lovely dwarf friends. So just get over there, and you are paralyzed and dead. Get over here, you're going to be paralyzed and dead. Oh, now this. This will flip it, do the job, and one a big double swing will. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, yeah. Oh, flippin' yeah. Yeah, this is all under control. We're fine. Admittedly, I say this. Um, how many dwarves are actually left? And Okay, leave my cocking mage alone. Down you go. No time for ludicrously over the top. Never mind, we've got time for ludicrously over the top stuff. John, there's another one. Please stop doing drama murders and just like, you know... Going dumb. Well, okay. The bear's taking care of it. It's fine. John will be doing something in a moment, I'm sure. Okay, most of the dwarves are dead. I'll admit, that's it's kind of bad in a way. I'll just uh, be absorbing this. Is he dead now? Good, he's dead. Everyone's dead, including all my allies. Okay, so the dwarf army didn't do so hot. 
Also, Leliana, let's get you sorted out. So, obviously, more cunning for you. All right. All right, all right, all right. Ranger, I have actually been enjoying. Now, could a giant spider be better than a bear? To be honest, the bear seems pretty good. But then again, that would move her towards a Master Ranger. So, all the animals are better. I mean, she's pretty much maxed out archery apart from her own. I say she's maxed out archery. The key master archer ability, she has not, no. Yeah, I am pretty much happy with the bear as it is. Let's just move her towards master archer. I don't care about defensive fire, though. We'll be leaving that off. Right, nice to see those guys out and about. Let's just be on our way. And here we go. The troops are training. Everybody's looking good here. Not a single revenant or corpse. Maga flipping nificent. Let's see what Eamon's got to say about all of this. I understand you've acquired all the allies you could. That's good. We can call the Landsmeet if you are ready. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. I mean, there might be some stuff I haven't done, I've forgotten, I've just straight up overlooked, but I feel like we're in a good enough place to do the Landsmeet. Though, to be honest, no one's actually told me what a land's meet is. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. You see, but again there, you've not actually explained what a land's meet is. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage, for the moment, is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen, and I lead her armies. Okay, that's his official position. He's just being a commander, but, uh, hang on, what was her name? Anora! Good, thank you, uh, option number two down there. Anora, she's the leader, which may or may not be legitimate. I'm not 100% sure, yes, how succession goes in Ferelden. Again, no one's overtly specified that, so, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. If Anora's the ruler, yep, that's a good answer. Why isn't she here? Surely she should be representing herself. Her general, her commander, shouldn't really be here speaking to us. There's no reason for that whatsoever if what you say is true, Loghain. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. Okay, now you know that that didn't happen. And it's nonsense that a single person has believed you. So, oh, sorry, I only just noticed how standing behind you. Right, yes, my missing brother who doesn't shown up. Hopefully he'll show up at some point, and hopefully I can stab how, because I do have a tragic backstory that needs avenging. I've just been ignoring it for like months at this point. Then that's a good point. Can I actually prove uh, the treachery? I don't think I can. So, yes indeed, you're a deserter and a regicide. Screw you, you stupid bastard. And yes, if I can, I'd also like to murder Howe. You should curb your tongue. This is my city and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? 
Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. Oh, oh flip me, you are going to be flipping murdered mates. You have no rights. Your family surrendered them when I revealed them to be traitors to the king. Okay, this entire subplot has just been on ice since part one. I can't actually remember what he framed me with, but I'm sure it was good and I'm going to enjoy murdering you. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash cause, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight. With your selfish ambitions to the throne. Oh, oh, here comes the flipping plot twist. Uh, yeah, it's actually not Aemon we're planning to put on the throne. Our option is way more hilarious, but... Okay. Last chance, I doubt I can get Logan on side, but... You never know, I'm fully invested in speech. If there's a persuade option, I should have access to it. I should put my faith in untried foreign hands. Do you think I'm blind? Kaelin depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a King of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Okay, so he wasn't persuaded to come round. Got it. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. So, I know it's a side point right now, but is there any chance I can murder Howe and get revenge for my family while we're doing this whole business? I would not ask you to. But bear in mind that he will be well protected by his alliance with Loghain. He always seemed the kind of man who enjoyed kicking stray dogs. I would not have thought Loghain would trust him. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmeet then. Okay, so I'm just supposed to have a bit of a uh, walk round uh, for the time being, and uh, standard bearer achievement, lovely. Where the flip am I, by the way? Aha! Brand new estate. Marvellous. So, okay. That's right by the market. He said, go and have a look around. I'm not sure whether he means, like, just in the estate or elsewhere in uh, Denerim. But we'll have a bit of a look around, see what we can find. And, okay. I'm also alone. But, aha! I've brought the team with me, including my radioactive golem. That's nice. Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. And oh my goodness, they've all got their own unique lines, so... Oh, never mind. Okay, so they've got their new introductory lines, but the conversations aren't the same as they ever were. Gotcha. Okay, so for the time being, it kind of looks like this is my new camp, if you like, because all my friends are just standing around. So, alright, may as well get used to this place. We might be here for uh, some time. Potentially, the lands meet is not going to be a nice quick thing. Also... Who are you, Nigella? Excuse me, I have to dust the Isle's sitting room. Okay, so you have a name, but you claim to not be important. I do not trust you. Okay, anybody could be an assassin, a spy, anything. No, I'm from Redcliffe. Lady Isolde brought me here to be her chambermaid last spring. I have family here, though. 
I beg your pardon, sir, but I really can't be seen standing about. The housekeeper will have my head. Good day. Okay, if she's been here a long time and was brought by, uh, yes, the woman who I kind of unfortunately sort of murdered, she's probably trustworthy. Oh, I tell you what, though, this is way nicer than just being in camp. This is lovely. We should just stay here permanently. If one more servant asks if I would like a change of clothes, I will set the house on fire. Oh, Morrigan, I do love you. Aha! I was just exploring, but I've run into uh, Eamon and uh, somebody. This is Elena. She's... I am Queen Enora's handmaiden. She sent me here to ask for your help. Or perhaps the young lady prefers to speak for herself. Okay, so I'm guessing this is about to kick something off. Why does Anora need help? The Queen, she is in a difficult position. She loved her husband, no? And trusted her father to protect him. When he returned with no king and only dark rumors, what is she to think? She worries, no? But when she tries to speak with him, he does not answer. He tells her not to trouble herself. And yes, indeed, we saw in a cutscene long ago, she was suspicious. So, okay, yes, we have good reason to believe that the Queen is suspicious of Loghain. My Queen suspects she cannot trust her father. And Loghain, he is very subtle, no? But when and how, he is privy to all the secrets and not so subtle. So she goes to how? A visit from the Queen to the new Isle of Denon is only a matter of courtesy, and she demands answers. Okay, how's the weak link in the chain, I'm guessing? He calls her every sort of name, traitor being the kindest, and locks her in a guest room. Oh, okay, I kind of assumed Nora would be smart enough to just outplay How, given a How doesn't seem that smart, but... Right, so, all of a sudden... Anora's being held captive by the Isle of Denerim, but does... does Loghain even know? King Kaelin was like a son to him, and Loghain left him to die. Does he love Anora more? Who can say? I think her life is in danger. I heard how say she would be a greater ally dead than alive, especially if her death could be blamed on Arl Eamon. Okay, but if we go and rescue her, and she's already dead, then that puts us at the scene of the crime and very easy to blame. So, this woman could be a spy. This could all be a setup. So, alright. I mean, why should I believe you? Prove it. Because you do not want Loghain ruling Ferelden. And if Nora can speak at the Landsmeet, her voice would sway many nobles. We may have no choice but to trust Anora. The Queen is well-loved. If Loghain succeeded in pinning her death on me, I'm not sure that's a risk we can afford to take. But if this is a setup and Anora's not in any danger whatsoever, and we go charging in all guns blazing into Hal's house and Anora was just having a nice time enjoying some tea, we're going to look like the people who were trying to kill her. Oh, bloody hell. This could be one a hell of a setup, but it doesn't look like we can get out of it. I fear if this is a trap, we are already caught in it. They can kill Anora whether or not we act and blame her death on us. Few would believe our world over no games. We can only defend ourselves with the Queen in hand. Okay, that's a fair point. There is the danger that, yeah, if they are serious about killing her and they just do it, we're screwed either way. All right, what's the plan then? I have some uniforms. Oh, how I have so many new girls every day. A few more will not cause much stir. I will show you to the servants' entrance. We must slip in and out with my queen before anyone is the wiser. I will go ahead to House Estate. Meet me there as soon as you can. Right, let's keep the same team for now. I think, yes, Alistair should definitely be coming with us, given this entire business is to make him king, and then Morrigan and Leliana spectacular. And this brings us to... Okay, we're literally... Right next to the market. I see it was this old gate that was closed till right now. So, on the Denerim map, we've now got ourselves, uh, yes, a new estate we can go to. That's going to be where the mission is. But we were also told to uh, keep an eye out for the other nobles. Now, I don't know where they're going to be, but they're not going to be in uh, random back streets. However, 
there's a possibility they could be hanging out at the taverns. So I'm gonna check the two taverns in town, or rather, the one tavern and the one brothel. You're being very foolish. Why would Logan leave half our own army to die when a blight threatens? I take him at his word. The battle could not be won. Even you must admit there's a suspicious rash of mortality among the advisors to the crown. Bryce, Urian, Eamon. Eamon's not dead, more's the pity. The only thing that truly worries me is Eamon's notion of putting this bastard on Marek's throne. It's an ill precedent. True, I would rather see Honora keep the throne myself. Better it passes to the McTeer line than to some Viper. Alright, I wasn't wrong. We've got nobles, in fact. Oh, we've got we've got an entire room of the bastards. What do you suppose Eamon is playing at? Surely he doesn't expect us to believe Honora unfit to rule with her father to advise her. I wonder that myself. His timing is unfortunate. South Reach is overrun. I have little time to devote to politics at present. Overrun? Has the blight truly spread so far? Most of my freeholders have fled to Redcliffe and Lothering, but I doubt they'll be safe there for long. Baker's breath. Ryland, I had no idea. Be careful how loudly you speak of it. Wolf lost both his boys to Darkspawn, trying to evacuate West Hills. Lady Andraste, pray for us. Okay, so that's abandoned Bryland. Do I know who Bryland is? Because it rings a bell, but I'm not 100% sure. Hello there! I'm sorry. I'm busy at the moment. You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged at present. Alright, these lads won't speak to me, but... Okay, an Arl over here. You might be willing to chat. Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation too. You're the youngest Kuzland, aren't you? Probably looking for coin or men to take your turn here back then. You're better off asking the Darkspawn. They hold West Hills now. Okay, so... Wait, West Hills. Is West Hills where I ever was? Because I'm not 100% sure. And I'm a Grey Warden here, out to, you know, vaguely try and uh, feel out which way you're voting. Assuming it's a vote. I think it's a vote, right? Shouldn't you be dead, then? How quick did you cut leash and run at Ostagar? No matter. I've nothing left for you to take, Grey Warden. Not even my sons. You're wasting your time here. Okay, so any chance we can just, you know, get to know you a bit and secure the votes? Gallagher Wolf, Arl of the West Hills. Or what's left of them. All of southern Ferelden covered by black clouds. The ground rotting beneath your feet. Plagues and darkspawn raids going on until even the crows get sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denerim? There's no point talking about it. Leave me. I'm nothing for you anyway. Okay, West Hills and the Blights of the South, so must be an area somewhere nearby to Redcliffe, I suppose. There's nothing more to say. Hester someone else. <laughs> nope, he's not willing to chat any further. Okay, that's everyone in bar number one. But as I say, we're not stopping there. We're nipping into the Pearl in case anyone's decided they'd rather stay at the brothel, though. Okay, the game's loading something. I'm guessing we're going to be attacked by, uh, yeah, Howe's men en route. All right. Nothing. Which means it's a trap. Okay. What precisely... Am I walking into here? Because well. I don't trust this at all. Oh, yeah. We got a name person. But only in yellow. All right. We should be able to handle this, whatever it is. And so here is the mighty Grey Warden at long last. The crows send their greetings once again. And where is Zevran? I don't see him with you. How very disappointing. Oh, okay. Um, Zevran is... Oh, Zevran's dead. Is Zevran supposed to be dead? Wait, is the official story... No, they know Zevran's not dead, because Zevran was with me when I spoke to the, um, to the crows. So, okay, didn't bring him... Well, not obviously. Oh, is this... Is this Zevran's mission? Is Zevran supposed to be here? Okay, um, what's... What's going on precisely? <laughs> yes, by all means. 
I simply wish to say hello to an old friend. Here I am, Talisan. Tell me, were you sent, or did you volunteer for the job? Oh ho! And he makes an appearance. I volunteered, of course. When I heard that the great Zevran had gone rogue, I simply had to see it for myself. Is that so? Well, here I am, in the flesh. You can return with me, Zevran. I know why you did this, and I don't blame you. It's not too late. Come back and we'll make up a story. Anyone can make a mistake. Okay, so... Right, I don't remember him mentioning anyone who meets this guy's description, but... Okay. Uh, ha ha ha. Zevran doesn't need crows. Well, I mean, he said he wanted to hang out with me, but that doesn't mean he didn't want to go back to the crows eventually. It did rather sound like he enjoyed his time being a crow, for the most part, but... Okay, Zevran, how about you stay with me and, like, don't be an assassin? What? You've gone soft. I'm sorry, my old friend, but the answer is no. I'm not coming back. And you should have stayed in Antiva. And... Oh, okay, so we've now got to do some form of final confrontation against some guy who I don't know who he is. But, okay, Leliana, just stand back, leave this one to Zev and the rest of us. And, oh, blimey, I am suddenly surrounded. Okay, uh, best thing we can do is don't be surrounded. So, okay, team, just move over there. And if we're lucky, these guys are, yeah, daggers, not bows. So just get over to the corner, if you'd be so kind. Everything is just fine. Okay, now we're all in the corner together. This should be much easier to take care of. Alistair, I need you at the front. John, just start doing a bit of stabbing. Zev's already in trouble. Presumably they're prioritizing him for a reason. Take out a handful of them, including, yes, the named lad right there. Then after that, just get round to the back. So, Cone of Cold. Then, actually, you know what? Just drop the heel right now. And then, boom, get back over to this side. Everyone should now be okay. Right, Zevron, you're just taking out assassins left, right, and center. That's all absolutely... Okay, that wore off very fast. John should be able to take care of this without it being too much trouble. In fact, John, pinpoint strike. If you can, just, yeah, do some good work over to here. Then again, actually, there's a whole bunch of people over there who are doing their whole business with bows. So, hang on, why is the... Why is Blizzard over here? I could have sworn I rearranged this. Anyway, John, see if you could just... Oh, darn it, you just missed it. That's a shame. Still, we can get crits like 10 million. Everyone is just assassinating very hard right now. The basic assassins are, oh, dear. Oh, flippin' dear. Oh, you poor assassin bastard. Oh, Morrigan. Morrigan, Morrigan, Morrigan. Drink health potion. Nice and fast, please. Uh, group heal. Yeah, just start dropping some uh, some ice magic if you'd be so kind. And where is the... Did you not get the blizzard off? I bet she was interrupted. And she's going to be interrupted again. Morrigan, just freeze this person if you'd be so kind. There is blizzard. We'll just take out the frozen assassin. Just stab, 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 stun, 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 etc, etc. Everything should be under control. Right, two more hiding at the very rear. But at this point, yeah, it's the drags. Not too tricky at all for the most part. So you, buddy, just get assassined in the back. And you, same basic deal. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, Zev. So that was... That was your loyalty mission, was it? And there it is. Talison is dead. And I am free of the crows. They will assume that I am dead along with Talison. So long as I do not make my presence known to them, they will not seek me out. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of assumed you wanted to hang out with me for the rest of this adventure, and then maybe go back to the crows later, because, as I say, for the most part, you seem to be very fond of all the cool adventures you had, being an assassin, but, I mean, all right. Welcome aboard forever, I suppose. I do not know. It seems I have options now, whereas once I had none. I have enjoyed our company, but I am wondering if it is not time for me to leave. That would be the practical thing to do, no? There is a freedom awaiting me that I have never known. But I suppose the decision is yours. Will you let me go? I need your help. You made an oath. I mean, I'd rather just say no. As you just said, you've got a choice now. I'd like you to 
exercise that choice. But apparently I can be a bit charming and say, well, what about all the treasure that's coming our way? Mm, all right. You make a convincing argument. You do seem to stumble onto treasure on a regular basis somehow. Let us return to the task at hand, then. There is still much to be done, yes? All right, so I'm guessing we've just, um, got a loyal Zeph now. Love it. That was a really, really short, simple mission. Ooh, here's nice, by the way. So the names lad, he had gloves with bonus armor penetration on them, which is... Uh, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, right now I gain bonus of 15% critical and backstab damage. So, uh, when I'm backstabbing, I go up from, uh, yeah, per attack like uh, 7. Add 15% onto that. That would be about, yeah, 1.0, 1.1. So, okay. Honestly, adding on 2.5 to armor penetration, like, to everything... That feels like that might be better. Yeah, I'm going to put those on. Sure, why not? I mean, that puts my armor penetration DPS up to 1616. Whereas Alistair's like, yeah, 7, Morrigan, that is... Actually, Morrigan's armor penetration is good. Because magic just seems to uh, bypass armor. So she's actually pretty good when it comes to that. But, I mean, okay, we'll give it a go anyway. Also, Zev, here you go. Have a giant pile of cunning. And you being an assassin will just max out your assassin skills. And your two-handed weapon skills as well. Except, ooh, need dexterity for that, no matter. Go on, I have maxed out stealth just in case that becomes useful down the line. Right, over to the pearler here and... Okay, was... Was this entry room with the bouncer always here? Because I do not remember this and I have completely missed a book on the way in, so... Uh, all right, didn't realise that was there. Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Okay, you know what? This might be my last opportunity. Sanga, give me one more of the surprising specials. Oh, adventurous are you? I think we can accommodate you. Come with me. And is it going to be the little nugglings again? And... No! Okay, this time it was... This time it was a scarecrow. And and a whip. I shall do it. Okay. Um Fascinating. Everyone else is oh, where's where's everyone else? Okay, I mean understandable. Right, guys, just pretend you don't see any of this. It's fine. Although I'm gonna be honest, I do need to get Zevron out of the team because uh, I don't really think he's got enough staying power to be here. So, okay, we need to nip back to the mansion just to swap out Zev. As I was saying, Leliana. Okay, here we go. Time to begin the disguised infiltration of the estate. And I am a rogue with high cunning. If anyone's going to be good at this, it's me. Oh, and here we go. And there's some form of trouble at the front door. But, 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 but. I've made an executive decision. I've been thinking about this for a while, but that last fight has just reaffirmed what I'm about to do is the right thing to do. I've decided to put the game up from normal to hard, which the game says is a considerably greater challenge, but we've been doing pretty well. We've been tearing apart enemies. I think we can do this. All right. My team is strong enough to pull this off. The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Al Hau is inside. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I flippin' want to run into Al Hau, actually. Yes, and wherever he goes, a great many guards go with him. And yes, indeed. Was kind of hoping we might run into him, actually. Me and you, we're at cross purposes, Alina. I beg you, do not put my lady in danger for your revenge. We must get her out first. Okay, that's a reasonable point. We'll do that first, sure. Though, yeah, why is the crowd here? The estate is in poor repair. The new owl, he has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I will be right behind you. Okay, so how's being a bastard? Gotcha. Still, on the plus side, this might actually be doing a very good job. Yes, making a distraction. At the front door, mag flipping nificent. Uh oh, there's guards and 
Well, this has not started well, Leliana. What are you... Oh, there's... Okay, so... All of this didn't go desperately well. We've immediately been uh, attacked. And Morrigan's already almost... Uh-oh. Morrigan. Morrigan, Morrigan, Morrigan. How's the healing? Okay, the healing's still pretty good, all things considered. Let's just see how tough people are these days. So, in particular, you two guys just need to be frozen for a second. No, you flipping don't. No, you flipping don't, actually. Okay, so... There may have been some small amount of trouble right there. I've been stunned, but only for a split second. Take out the bow guy with Crushing Prism. He seems a little bit... Ooh, a resist, Larty Flippin' Dar. Well, all right. Just Winter's Grasp, but you, in that case, hit you with Affliction. Hex, you are now affected with that nonsense. And as I understand it, Drain Life is more efficient when you are, yes, afflicted. And this guy will be afflicted too. Now, go help Morrigan, because Morrigan's now going to be the main person being attacked for the time being. But she should be smart enough to heal herself. Okay, we can do this. This was not like a huge step up, but it definitely was a bit more of a meaty challenge. So, all right, hard difficulty. That's what we're doing right now. And I'll admit, the whole stealth thing didn't last long. Didn't, didn't really work out, like, at all, actually. No. Okay, looks like we're looping around to the back of the estate here. So just keep on keeping on. Be ready for trouble. Because I feel like at this point, they know we're here. Because I just murdered, like, loads of them. Oh, yeah. There's going to be an ambush. I can distract the gods, but you must move quickly. Okay, so... Yes, you mentioned disguises. Ali, my lady does not have much time. Are you all prepared? I will go distract the gods. I mean... Okay, um... Can I not just kill them? It's what we did around the corner, it seemed to work. More guards patrol every hour. If they find these two missing, they will know... How you say... Something is amiss. What about the five guards we already... Okay, never mind. We'll do it your way. Oh, you must come. I saw something. A better fountain. I think it was a dark spawn. Dark spawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten. Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive! Please get help! If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And trust these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh! It was over here! Quickly! Okay, do I have to use my stealth abilities? Because I do have uh, stealth abilities. Alright, I barely ever use them, but stealth! Stealth, stealth, stealth. No one else has got stealth, but... Oh, there we go. Stealth, boom, I'm amazing at this. So, alright. In we flipping go. Ah, oh, it took me forever to be rid of those two. You must be careful now. The servants, they will not look closely at anyone in uniform. All guards are alike to a cook, no? But you should not draw attention to yourself. Most of the guards are new. They will not know you for a stranger at a glance. It is best you keep your distance from all of them and try to blend in. Okay, keep a distance too. Got it. Do you know where Nora is? She's in the guest room of the main hall. Andras, they guide us. Right, find main hall. Don't mind servants, but other guards. Keep your flipping distance. Don't mind me, I'm just robbing you, it's fine. Okay, soldiers, yes, keep your distance. When you enter a room, know how you're planning to get out. There's a small room at the end here, but we don't need it, it's a dead end. So in which case, we're going in, we're taking a left, and we're moving straight back out again. There we go. Just keep your distance. Go this way. Straight through. Get over here. Out the way. And... Okay. They are potentially infinitely patrolling. Keep your distance. Where's my next move? Ah! If they're just going to spawn forever, I could hide in the room on the left there in order to let them bypass me. 
Okay, just be way over here. As soon as they're past, make a run for this room. Up to here. And oh, bloody hell, there's, there were so many guards in this room. There were so, so many guards in this room. Don't speak to anybody. Okay, zoom in the camera a bit. I fold. And somebody is playing cards. I feel like this is going to be a door I need to... Oh, I'm good at speech. I could do this. This I'm flipping made for. A few in a and no, never mind. Okay, not a thing. And that is... Someone pray. Oh, oh, dogs. Okay, dogs might know the scent that people are supposed to have, so be careful. Just talk about mutton. Coughing. Nothing major. Keep on keeping on. What is that? Is that the front door? That might be the front door. Hang about. Just be careful. Oh. Well, I found her. I mean, not one person has challenged me. So just in and... There we go. Nice and simple, except... Oh, is that a ward? The Grey Warden is here, my lady. Thank the Maker. I would greet you properly, but I'm afraid we've had a setback. Okay. Well, on the plus side, uh, it's not a setup, which honestly I was 90% sure it was. Because, uh, yeah, if it was, she wouldn't be saying thank the Maker the Grey Wardens here. So, uh, right, what's going on precisely? My host was not content with leaving me under heavy guard. He sealed the door by magic. Okay, that's... that is a problem. Find the mage who cast the spell. He'll most likely be at Howe's side. Oh, we could murder Howe. That'd be fun. Yes, but... Yeah, um, how are we going to persuade him to let out a really important hostage? Well, if he didn't know you were here, he soon will. Wait. What do you mean? This sounds a lot like a trap. Okay, screw it. We're just going to murder Howe. It's going to be fine. Thank you, Warden. My prayers go with you. Town Howe will probably be in his rooms. They're at the end of the hall, on the left. All right, just keep on keeping on. Now, they said on the left, but check... Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. No, it's fine. It's fine, buddy. No trouble. No trouble at all. Just round here. Alright. Are we talking... Gonna be honest, this does seem more like a, um... A library. Also, hang on, what happened to the... I swear someone just came in here. And now they're just sort of gone. Still, I'll never say no to, uh, a codex entry. That's like 50 XP, it's not bad. Alright, just keep on keeping on. It's possible they meant further down, uh, the thing there. Ooh, the dungeons. Okay. I'm guessing someone else is going to need rescuing yet. So, I see ya. Right there. So, literally, yes. To the hall, beyond the hall. Do not cause trouble. Allow me. I could do that for you. You say this, but you never can. Let's flip in. Oh, hang on. Chest of documents. Grey Warden documents. Text is gibberish. Possibly encrypted. Oh, that's a problem. If I don't know the cipher, and Alistair doesn't know the cipher, okay, take them. That seems important. What? Who goes there? Okay. Someone appears to be escaping. And we've just decided not to get involved, which is fair enough, I suppose. Oh, Flip, it's going to be my brother. I thank you for creating such distraction, stranger. I have been waiting days for the opportunity. Do you think you could... Alistair? Is that you? Who... Wait. I do know you. You were at my joining. He's one of us. A warden for Morlay. Jada, I... Think, or was it Monsumar? I'm afraid I don't remember your name. Amri Orden, senior warden of Jada, but born and bred in Hyever, and glad to be home. Okay, so it wasn't my brother. 
I thought we were finally going to get to, you know, revisit part one's plot about my dead family by having me and my brother confront how. That would have been a hilarious, but... Okay, um, what are the Orlesian Grey Wardens doing here? For the most part, attempting to hold my tongue. I was sent when we received no word from King Caelan as to the outcome at Ostagar. The King had invited all the Wardens of Orlais and their support troops to join him. Then nothing. Ah, uh, yes indeed. We had heard about this long ago. Alistair said uh, there are plenty more Grey Wardens, just not the Ferelden lot. So you're like the advanced party, the scout, for the rest of them. So that's nice, though, admittedly... Yes, the papers. These could be yours. Yes, these are my records. The names of the dead I could recognize at Ostagar. What I could find of Duncan's own recruitment records. Copies of the joining ritual I rescued from our Denerim vault. Those should never be seen by any outside eyes, but I trust in their encryption. Okay, so now we know how to make more Grey Wardens again. Would that I could, for Ferelden sorely needs them. But for the joining to work, the recruit needs not only fresh darkspawn blood, but a drop of blood preserved from an archdemon. Ferelden's supply should have been in the vault, but it was gone. I can only imagine someone took it out and Loghain either confiscated or destroyed it. Okay, no trouble, because at some point we're going to need to kill one of them. There's a fresh one out and about right now. So, that's cool. Just remember, when we kill the big archdemon, store some of its blood in like a little flask or something, because we need it. And also, yes indeed, where's how? I saw him going to the dungeons. He may still be there. Okay. So, any chance you'll be willing to uh, join me? Because at this point we could go up to three Grey Wardens, which has got to be badass. I wouldn't be much use to you in my current condition. And if you'll pardon me, I have a sudden desire to breathe some free air. I will seek you out later. After I find a good physician. And good luck, sister. Okay, it's nice to know we have friends out there at the bare minimum. That's lovely. Okay. So far, nice and peaceful, down to the dungeons we go. Okay, I suspect we're going into Operation... Yes, we're going into Operation Murder at this point. I do see there is a string right there. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Just Morrigan, you just freeze the lot of them. Nobody run into the, uh, the rope, please. You need to be hit with a nice little winter grasp. And boom, and boom, and dead. And we got more coming in. I see there's a whole bunch of them there. Like three and... Oh, blimey. Okay, send the bear first. Right, Morrigan. I need you to... Morrigan, chill out. Morrigan! Somebody is shooting me. Does anyone know who precisely? Morrigan, drop the group heel. Then just charge. Ow! What is... No, seriously, what's stunning me? Why am I stunned over and over and over again? I'm not 100% sure, but somebody else should at this point be distracting these bastards. So go over to here. One more cone of cold. Still works pretty bloody nicely. So in which case we're almost ready for... Group heal again. I enjoy controlling my mage directly. And oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. And where the flip are you going? I don't know where this guy's going. But he's just off somewhere. So, oh, he's going for Leliana. Morrigan can take care of the rest of this. Do a nice bit of a life drain. All the rest of it. Stab, stab, stab. Everything is good. Okay, so that there is the Skyrim door. We need to loop the long way round uh, to get to the rest of this. So, uh, keep on keeping on. Honestly, the bear could go first. Because the bear could just tank hits. I mean, that's fine. If the bear wants to draw the fire, the bear could draw the fire. So, uh, hello over there. You could just activate slam. Because, honestly, why not? Just slam that guy. Boom. Love it. There might be traps. Who bloody knows? Uh, this guy will be dead before anything else shows up. And we're finally getting some vengeance from a parent. And uh oh Guys. I feel like there might be... A lot of trouble in the nearby room. So I want everybody to calm down for a second, please. Everybody needs to calm down because... Oh, I've got the best plan. Step one, John is going to go into stealth mode. John's going to open the doors. 
Now, the reason John is going to open the door is because no one's going to see John. Right? You see where I'm going with this? Now I can see, but they can't see me. And that means something wonderful is about to happen, which is Morrigan can start laying down the blizzards to end all blizzards right here. Activate Mega Blizzard right up to the door. Okay, and then we guard the door. So Morrigan just does that right now. Activate Mega Blizzard and boom! Okay, so that there is now going to cause... I should have actually put it in the corridor. Now I think about it, that might have been better. But this is going to do a lot of damage over time. I want everybody, no, I want everybody to fall back. Fall back in this direction. Don't let the archers do their own business. Just get over to here for a second. Now you get over here and cause some trouble. Now, Morrigan, you should be able to line up a good five of them. Right. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, boy. Right. Uh, John, just get to you and activate pinpoint strike. So go. And then one more, please. And go. And then one more, please. Just keep on keeping on. And John, John's been stunned. Boo. Boo, I say, but still dead momentarily. And oh, now this. This will flip it do. There's a group right here. Put the scatter shot right on top of them. John, you just start stabbing Mabari Warhounds. They're going to go down real fast, though. There was just a big mass stun. What was that? Oh, that's them using their version of scatter shot, which is fair. Morrigan is trying to drain life. Morrigan. I need you to get into position 201. I need you to not die for a second. So, heal yourself. Then just push forward, please. Ow. And then, yeah, take these guys out for now. The bear, meanwhile, is doing good work right over here. And Alistair is doing okay. We've almost, almost got ourselves... Wait, where's Alistair? There he is. I found Alistair. He's right there. Right. You go back over here and now just start making sure this person can't do much. And we're doing okay. And Bear can just go over to here. Activate Slam. And flipping. Boom. Okay. I feel better on this difficulty. It's now a bit more of a challenge. Yes. Also, fascinatingly, two and only two people didn't realize about this. So, Missy, one of them is a mage by the looks of it. That's not how in the mage, is it? And I'm guessing, okay, it's... No, it's not, but no, you don't, buddy. No, you flippin' don't. No, you flippin' don't. Mages don't get to cast spells. No, they do not. Just start... Oh, there's... Okay, there were there were some big traps out there, actually. Just, just get in here, if you'd be so kind. Finish off the mage before the mage is able to cast anything. And there we go, job done. Still, same thing again. We got another room of them right here. Open the door with John. Then we just get the blizzard and it's bloody hilarious. So, okay. They're now going to start running through here. But they're just going to take a bit of light damage before they even flipping get to me. I love it. And then Bear can just block the door when the time is right. So, oh, there's a torturer here. That's nice. Oh, here's fun. That room had somebody in it. So, ooh. But any chance are you important? Because if you've got a vote in the upcoming lands meet, that'd be brilliant. Was this supposed to be a lesson? Did my father think it funny to leave me for so long before sending you? Okay, so, um, who are you? Then my... my father didn't send you? I am Oswin, son of Ban Sigurd, of the Dragon's Peak Banon. If you aren't one of our soldiers, pray tell me, who should I be thanking for my rescue? Ooh! Bloody hell! So, you might have a vote, actually. Marek's bastard. Then I need not question why you're here, for your friend's claim to the throne is the greatest threat to Loghain's regime. You have my heartfelt gratitude. And, I assume, the gratitude of the entire Dragon's Peak Banner. If my father sent no one after me, I can only assume that he does not yet know the true colors of the snakes he is allied with. But if you talk to him, I'm certain he would offer you any reward you might ask. Okay, we've got ourselves an ally. One soldier returning from Ostagar was my wet nurse's son. We have been friends since birth. He told me his unit was ordered to turn their backs on Kalen at Ostagar, before the Darkspawn overwhelmed him. The next day he disappeared. When I went to search for him, 
I accepted a drink from a stranger and ended up here. Oh. Oh my goodness, I've got a flipping witness. Okay, handful more dead later. We got ourselves a key, a giant pile of gold, and, uh, perhaps most interestingly, a name I have not heard for a good 20 or 25 parts. It's bloody Rexol, the guy who was on the Chantry board like way back in part 5 or something. They said to retreat. The horn sounded and we turned and then the screams. We rode and they screamed and screamed and... <sighs> okay, so I'm guessing we've got yet another Ostagar witness. Spectacular. We can just bring them out as a little parade. Mother... Can you smell the blood? They said it was only Darkspawn. But we ate them too. They died. And we left them. In the swamp. The witch. The witch! He's obviously mad. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him. Okay, so... Yes, you're Rexel. I know who you are. Your family's after you. Just... You know, toodle on back to them, have some nice soup, come see me when you're feeling a bit better. No family, no family, all friends, all daughters, all wives are dead. Okay, just go and we'll report this back into the Chantry board later. Leave, yes, leave. Find someplace safe. Okay, that'll do as a starting point. Although that's not the only lads here. We've also got... Soros. What's a Saurus? What month is it? Are you some enemy of Arl Urians? Please, I feel like I've spent half my life down here. Okay, um, yeah, he died some time ago. How took over? Dead. Then who's ruling his son, Vaughn? He struck me down and I woke up here. People were so angry, they, they were thinking of petitioning the king. Okay, um, what's going on precisely? Oh, yes, the, um, the alienage that's been locked up due to a rebellion. People were telling me some of the stuff related to Orzammar would have made more sense had I done the Dwarven Origins. By any chance, are you something to do with, uh, yes, the Elven Origin? Because there is an Elven Origin that's set in the city, and I'm guessing you're something to do with that. Rebellion? I know my kinsmen were unhappy with the Jarl, but I can't imagine a rebellion. There have been many changes since they caught me. I need to find out what happened. I need to get home, or flee the city. I, I thank you for your aid, stranger. I wish I had more than gratitude to offer. Okay, as I say, don't know who that guy is, but maybe he's more important if you are an elf. And oh my, game just drops an autosave, uh, there's a stairway back up top here, and this here apparently is where How is. Oh buddy, I've been waiting a long time for this. Well, look here, Bryce Kooslin's little Spitfire, all grown up and still playing the man. I never thought you'd be fool enough to turn up here. <laughs> and then, I never thought you'd live either. Okay, so, 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 what we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze him, we're gonna poison him, we're gonna stab him, oh, we're going to have some fun with this man's neck. So, uh, okay, 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 no, not gonna kill your wife and son, that would be wrong, but, uh, yes, indeed, my father was your friend, did you do this for any reason better than you just wanted my stuff? A clumsy appeal, child. He was a traitor to me and a coward to his nation. Trips to Orle, gifts from old enemies, all while I sank in obscurity. Your family squandered glory that was rightfully mine. How suitable that their deaths should raise me to the ear of a king. If you think you can take this from me, that I will allow it, you are very much mistaken. I suspect it's... Oh, here we flipping go. Right, they've got a mage at the back. Two mages. Okay, I don't know this choke point. 
I'd like us to back out into the corridor, please. Back out into the corridor. Good. Good, good, good. Alistair, I need you to hold the door right there. Morrigan, meanwhile, is going to fill this room with Blizzard. That's going to keep the mages off their feet. So that's your priority right there. Okay. Meanwhile, Bear, your job is also just to basically get in there and sort this out. But yeah, I think the Blizzard should keep the mages nice and busy for now. And there is... There's how. Right. Bear, get him. And just go for him. There's the Blizzard. That does a good job knocking him down. Mages tend not to have much health. So now the bear just starts attacking right there. Step one, take out the guards. There's guard number one already dead. Go to guard number two. I see the mages trying to come in. I'm going to deploy the bear into this room to keep them busy. But they're being frozen a lot. John, get over here. Finish off you. And now, okay. What's the green hex that he's got on him? I don't actually know. Uh, Morrigan, drop a bit of healing. And John, actually, you know what? After you're done with that, boost his attack. Now, the mages are going to struggle to get to me because I've set a bear on them, which is hilarious. Leliana appears to be... Leliana is drawing a lot of aggro. And I'm not 100% sure why she does, but she just seems to. John... Mark a death, this guy. And then get over to here. Black Bear just keeps going for the mage. His mages seem to be useless right now, which is precisely what I want. So, I'll how. Yeah, hit him with a little bit of ice magic right there. Leliana is just jab, keeping her strength up nicely. Morrigan, stay towards the back. At this point, John, is it time to go into Blood Rogue? mode because i think it oh it is and boom tainted blade and activate go go oh that's gonna hurt heal the entire team right there flip in love it this guy just uh yeah just if you can stop him black bear where are you going stop him from doing anything he's trying to do something can we interrupt him oh he's got a thing has he been force fielded no he's not i think john's about to do it the revenge is about to happen. Oh, John gets the revenge. And maybe turn off the Tainted Blade right now. Okay, John's now A-OK. -okay. Revenge has been got. Alahau is now... What the cock? Okay, they've summoned a monster from hell. Um, Which you can't really complain about too much. I mean, I kind of did the same thing. Mine's not from hell. Mine's just a bear. Uh, Morrigan, is there any chance you can just get a... Yeah, right there. Cone of Cold, can you hit that mage? And can you also knock him out right now with Crushing Prison? No, it's doing some good work. Finish off that mage if you can. Anything. Anything you've got left. Honestly, we're low on potions. Do a little basic Lyrium. Go for this guy. I think their... Yeah, their beast is already dead. Last mage goes down. What's he even trying to do right now? I don't know, but I think my bear just ate him. Right, he gets me a key that I'm guessing I might need down the line. Is it a magical key? I'm not sure how a key helps me, but a key might help me. Together with a, a tier 6 axe that seems okay, but honestly, I'll just be selling it. And we're not done yet. There's a few more people who... Oh, hang on. You're the older... Oh. You killed your father to take over, then were immediately betrayed, weren't you? You stupid bastards. Hmm, who's there? Stay away. You can't do this to me. I'll have you all flayed. I'm the Arl of Denerim. Okay, so, yeah, um, Urien's dead. I'm Vaughn Kendall's, heir to the Arling of Denerim. It's true. Too many of our troops were lost at Ostagar. When the riots started, Howe came with men to reinforce the garrison here. Or that's what he claimed. As soon as I let him into the palace, he threw me in here. One more victim of the Elven Uprising, he said. Let me out of here. I'll do anything. Okay, how about you vote for Alistar? Because that, that'll do it. And one more by the Luxi of it, somebody from the Chantry. Andraste, Bride of the Maker, have mercy on me. I'll stammer. Is that you, little sister? No, I, I don't know you, do I? Are you real? For a minute there, I thought that was my brother. It's been so long, I can't remember what he looks like or sounds like. If the Grand Cleric knew he were in here, she'd be spitting hot coals. Nobles don't have authority over Templars. 
I... I failed in my duties, Maker. Forgive me. I failed. And there's no telling what he's done. I mean, it sure is bloody convenient that House Prison contains a, a line of uh, witnesses, voters, and people who prove that Logan has committed crimes. This is just incredibly bloody useful. Give this ring to my sister, Alfstana. Tell her. Tell her I'm sorry. Please. Ask her to pray for me. All right, I have no idea what this guy's deal is, or who his sister is, or where, but if we run into her, I will give her the ring. And with that, I've got my revenge. I've got a convenient line of witnesses, voters, all the rest of it. I'd say that's enough for now. We've made a really damn good start here. This is presumably going to make the lands meet go way more in my favour. A whole bunch of votes that are now going to be on my side, which is just bloody lovely. But we still need to get a Nora to safety, and I'm guessing now we've taken off the disguises, getting out is going to be a lot less easy than getting in. So we will pick that up next time. Hopefully you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Dragon Age Origins. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh shit. Why did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.